Okay guys, we are back and we're on the Mythmore server at Old Beauty's Vegetable Garden. Um, before we get into this, uh, I just stopped by on the Seattle Sanctuary server, my private server, um, and Biddy was there. Um, I got to uh, chit chat with her for a little bit, so uh, not that she needs confirmation, but um, that was actually me that was there. <clears throat> um, she's uh, prepping her new deed now that she actually has the chance to work on it and put her tent down and all that. And I'm sure she'll show you tomorrow in the in tomorrow's video. Um, so right now, as you can tell. It is snowing. There's the three horn cart. I'm starting to get a little concerned about the cow in the old goat's pasture because the cow doesn't seem to have moved since I put it in there. So I'm going to go check on that here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so we've got the rake. Um, I did take a quick look. Apparently, we can't harvest the onions yet. They're not ripe. Um, you can see that the ripe ones have little purple flowers. And my plan was to actually harvest these today compared to these other ones. But we're going to leave this field alone. We're actually going to go ahead and rake it through so that I can harvest it tomorrow. We're not going to plant anything today. We're just going to harvest everything up, throw it down in the food bin. Um, but now that's cleaned up. And tomorrow we'll plant some more stuff. But let's get to uh, let's get to harvesting. Oh, seven potatoes there. But let's go back real quick before I forget okay so yesterday we got a total of five onions we used one of them to replant so let's see what we get from these other ones so I got six that time six that time got two more Six more. So it appears to be fairly consistent. So if I was to harvest that right now, I'd probably only get five. So you're not getting as much. You'd still get a few, obviously, but um, it seems pretty consistent for six on the onions at least at the moment. We got seven potatoes, seven more potatoes. So that might be the consistent number for potatoes when they're, oh, no, there's six there. I kind of like this though. It's, um, you realize you harvest in the perfect time. You harvest, uh, the harvest is of top quality. And I'm pretty sure that Mythmore Prime has the crop helper mod running. I'm not 100% certain about that, but that is actually running over. I got six cabbages there. That is actually running over on Seattle Sanctuary. What that does is that means I can leave these crops for another week, uh, a month, uh, six months down the road, provided that nobody else comes through here um, and um, starts to harvest my, my crops, they'll still be here. They won't turn to weeds. And 
and that is currently active over on Seattle Sanctuary. Inventory is full. Hmm. Well, my inventory wasn't full when I came up here and planted all this stuff. So I wonder if I can harvest from the cart. Um, let's open. Um, we're going to... Oh, we got stuff in these crates. Hmm. Okay, this one is not being used. So number four. So we're going to take these onions, potatoes, cabbages, and pumpkins. And we're going to dump them in crate four. Let's find out if we can continue to harvest from... Uh, don't trample Biddy's garden, you silly gooses. Not that it actually matters much, but... Can I harvest? Yes, I can. And they go straight into my inventory. Okay. That's all right. So if you notice, I have 26 pumpkins, 26 weight. Each pumpkin is one weight. Um, that much is, is a, a constant. What does change is the quality level. So as my skills go up, the nature increased to 19, rake increased to 15. As the skills go up, the quality level tends to go up as well. Looks like there's um, a few that were a little less. It is still slightly random. It's not completely random, It's but there is some RNG involved in it. So like these strawberries, 22.35, and these ones were 25.18, and these ones were 31.22. So there, there's a bit of randomness to it which means these ones may end up being less than 31.22, and they are, they're 22.69. But I'm using equality level 70 rake. These are 28.65. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, drop all these pumpkins in that crate. I don't know how many items we actually have there, but let's see if we can drop the strawberries too. Nope, not quite all of them. That's fine. We can put the rest of them here. We'll get the corn. And then we'll have to probably go down and dump this stuff off in the food storage bin so we can get the rest of these crops. Pods, yeah, we'll we'll get the pew pods as well. I've got room still. 
because I can throw corn there. And you can have upwards of 100 items on you. Um, well, in your inventory. And then the cart itself can have 100 items. But there is a weight limit on you or in your inventory as well. So we can drop the pea pods. And what do we got? Tomatoes. Let's get the tomatoes. And we're going to skip that field of onions. We'll get that one tomorrow. Let's see, 30, 60, 64. I don't think we can get this on there. No, we get 25. That's all right. Still gives us a little more room. Get as much as we can. Try to grab up all these sugar beets. And then we can probably get, what is that, garlic? Cucumbers. So in order to get the last row, we're going to have to go dump this stuff off. cow's still alive, so hopefully it's not stuck on something. What I might do is uh, grab the rope and lead the cow to a different spot in there and see what happens. Ugh, such disorganization. I need a housekeeper. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe I'll hire Biddy to come and do some housekeeping for me. Open this up. All right, we're going to take all these, dump them in here. We're going to take all of these. And since they're on the cart cart, we can dump those in there. And then we got to open this crate, grab all this stuff, shift, enter, and move. Uh, what happened? Okay, let's try something else. Do one at a time. It's not letting me. Can we do this? <laughs> It'll let us do it that way. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, good gravy. It's going to force me to do it one at a time. Oh, no room. Okay, so grab all that stuff. We'll drop it in here. 
Then we can grab this one. Close that. I know you can just run through everything, but it's habit. I'm very, very, very used to games where collision is a real possibility. In this game, there's only a few things you can actually collide with. Mostly fences and walls and barricades and whatnot, but a lot of stuff you can just literally run through. All right, let's park this guy here for a minute. We're going to go, come on, go inside. Oh, now you want to move. Lead. Come back up this way. And then exchange animal. What am I exchanging it with? Oh, animal token. Redeem. Oh, well, there's something new. I didn't know about that before. Either way, it's not being led anymore. So, <laughs> hmm, I just learned something new. I don't know if that is a common thing or if that is specific to this server. So, please don't ask me, but uh, if you know for certain, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. And then I can update about it in a future video. I did not know that that was a thing. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and grab the rake again. I'm pretty sure you don't need the rake. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Nope, you don't need the rake. You can actually harvest by hand, it looks like. I've just always grabbed the rake Anytime I was dealing with a, a crop, just out of habit. But that cow just showed me that there are things that I still don't know. So I'm more than willing to try things out. Okay. So all we have left is the one onion field. And that's it. For the crops we have plenty of crops to survive on <laughs> apparently for the winter <clears throat> how most of those crops survived i have no idea but usually when uh, the snow hits crops that are planted in the ground or vegetable crops anyway will typically die off So, um, a little bit ago when I was on the uh, uh, Seattle Sanctuary server, I was chit-chatting with Biddy, and she mentioned that um, I may have forgotten to include a rake in uh, the starter gear. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that. But um, she made a comment about thinking she was going to have to eat raw vegetables um, that she foraged. So jokingly, <clears throat> I told her I could always summon her up a bunch of pumpkins <laughs> because of uh, you know the, the ongoing running joke that we have about how many pumpkins... 
I eat with this character. Um, it just straight up raw pumpkins. Um, and uh, she said that she found a bunch of branches. Well, <laughs> apparently she's ribbing me about my um, Iron Man saga and all the branches that I've had to harvest. So knowing how wonderfully fun her run was yesterday, <laughs> trying to get to uh, her deeded area, uh, I told her that you know, the, the Iron Man area is only about another hour south along the coastline if she wants to run them down and drop them off. <laughs> We both got a pretty decent laugh out of it. I'm pretty, sure, I'm, I'm almost certain of it. Um, she is a uh, uh, very fun-loving person uh, from everything that I've experienced uh, in her videos, in the way that we talk with one another, um, and now you know, actually meeting her in game. Um, I had modified the land a little bit where she was planning on deeding. It was a, a an area that I, um, fl <clears throat> excuse me, that I flattened out for her. Um, oh, I don't know, several days or a week ago, um, just to be able to come over and, and hang out. And, um, you know, that way she's got a spot if she wanted to do some videos. And apparently she decided she wanted to. Well, what I failed to realize is you can't drop a tent and most likely can't build on tiles that are literally at water level. They're at zero. Um, so I had to adjust the land. I tried bringing it up to four slope above and that didn't work. Um, I didn't bother testing anything else. I just brought it straight up to 10 and I was able to drop a tent. So I flattened a bunch of the area out to 10. I left some of it low, um, and some of it actually still, still in the water line, but, um, it gives her things that she can do and modify or whatnot. Well, after I was done modifying, um, and, and fixing the issues for her. Um, I, uh, sorry, I'm just bringing the cart back over here for a minute. Uh, in case these guys need some grass because I logged them out on uh, dirt tile last night. Um, anyway, um, so I've, after I finished uh, fixing, oh, there goes the unicorn. Um, after I finished fixing the um and there goes the 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 bull so yeah i guess they were a little hungry um after i finished fixing the area that she was wanting to work in so that she could actually start building on it and drop her tent and all that stuff i just logged out um uh, my gm character right in her area um i was tired i had a meeting to go to i needed to get you know moving um, so I wanted to log in after work today, um, but I wanted to get some other things taken care of first. And I did, I got, I got a couple other things dealt with for the server. Um, there is an official link, um, which I uh, will discuss, um, in another video. Uh, specifically about the server, uh, but I went ahead and created the link and and did the description and built a banner and all that stuff, um, so that other people can find the server as well. And then I went back to Ping Perfect, uh, which is hosting the server, and noticed that there was somebody on. I don't care. I I'm wanting people to come onto the server. Um, and every once in a while there is somebody else on, um, but I figured I'd just jump on and 
check to see who it was and you know see if they needed anything um, and uh, uh, so I logged my GM character back in and immediately saw somebody running around in her area well I didn't get a chance to see who it was because they ducked behind a tree um, so I ended up chasing them down for a second and when I could finally target them I saw that it was an indeed Biddy, but I wanted to make sure that nobody else was trying to take her her area before she got a chance to deed it. Um, you know, and, and I don't really care. I mean, I could have easily made her another area. Um, but, you know, she seemed really, really stoked about having that area. So um, I, wanted, I just wanted to make sure that you know, if it was somebody else, um, I was just going to let them know, hey, this, this area has already been taken they just haven't had a chance to deed it yet um, but as it turns out it it actually was Biddy um, and she's doing a few modifications ahead, <clears throat> ahead of time apparently I had too many willow trees and it was dark and gloomy and she couldn't see anything and wanted to brighten the space up and uh, which I'm sure she will go into in tomorrow's video as well but um, <clears throat> it was just, uh, it was kind of funny to me that, you know, as soon as I log in, there's somebody else there. Um, and immediately I wanted to see who it was and, and let them know that, you know, that, that area was spoken for, as it were. Um, but I, I really wanted to get over here and get this moving. Um, cause there's, there's a lot of things that I still need to do on this server, um, for this deed. Hey, Mr. Guard, what are you doing? Yeah, you better hang your head. Why are you in my mind? There's no iron for you. There's rock salt and there's sandstone. Uh, apparently he's looking for a salary. That's... <laughs> <clears throat> I guess they get paid in rock salt. All right, let's um, let's see. Let me disembark for just. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna back out. I need to see what we've got here. Let's see. We can go that way. I don't really want to go that way too much. Well, maybe I could, but let's. Let's work on... Oh, I don't even have my... Is it in the cart? Was I smart this time? Let me see. Yay! It's in the cart. I'll grab that. I'll take these. And that one. And we're going to put them over here so that they're out of the way. What do I have? Oh, I think this is all the stuff for the fence. Scrap shafts, nails, ribbons, and logs. Hmm. Okay, change of plans. Um, I'm going to need the mallet again. Um. Yeah, so in a previous video, I talked about possibly taking Biddy's advice and creating a couple of um, set-aside areas specifically for sick animals. Um, why would I need that? Well, I still don't have a grooming brush. So... I need to figure out, let's see, one, two, three, four, ah, hang on, let's fix something, um, embark, let's move you up here, so you're out of my way, okay, now we'll disembark. Sorry about all the camera movement, guys. One, two, 
three, four, five. And then we're going to want one, two spaces in between, I think. So it's going to be right here. Hmm. Let me see. Actually, let's, um, what are we going to do? I need shaft, I think. Open this. Let's grab, uh, let's, uh, let's do, I don't want that. I want, go back in there. We just want 10. And I've only got three shafts. So I'll we'll definitely have to make some more shafts. But that is easy enough. Let's, uh... Oops. Uh, let's put mallet. Fence. Plank. Wood fence. I believe it will connect up. Yes. Okay, so... We don't necessarily need to build another wall here, or this one back here. But, what I'm thinking, let's go this way. I'm going to make another large, larger structure right next to the old goat's pasture. Definitely going to need more shafts, uh, planks. So we'll get this one up, and uh, grab some more pl uh, more wood. If I remember right, we need nails too. We need a bunch of shafts. Open this up. Uh, we need the carving knife. We'll open that up. We'll drop these planks back in there for a minute. What do we got in there? Wood scraps. There's the nails. So we need the logs. Let's get. Uh, Um, let's see if we can grab five of them. Open the crafting window. We'll put the carving knife in there. We'll put the logs in there. We're going to max this out. Oops. Uh, we need shafts. Yeah. We'll make a bunch of shafts. Because we're going to need five, fifteen... 25, we'll need 30 minus 3, so 27 of them. And then I think it actually requires one additional beyond. So for each one, that would be another 30. So we need 57 of them. I guess I should have planned ahead for this one. That's all right. We'll knock this out pretty quick. We just got to make sure we don't go over in weight, and we're pretty close to it. So let's drop this wood scrap here.
doesn't look like the weight is actually changing, so we, sh we should be good. Getting down there on logs, though. Sixteen more. I'm hoping we can get them. Yeah, we should be able to. Maybe. Maybe. I think we'll have like one or two extra. Three extra. Okay. So we'll drop this wood scrap in there to get rid of it. And we don't need the carving knife anymore. We can drop that on there. We're not going to worry about grabbing the planks of the nails just yet. So we'll close this one. And we'll run away. Oop. Head back up here. Let's see, that's one, two, three. Oh, yeah, that's not what I want. Destroy fence plan. It's a good thing we made a couple of extra, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You can create a plan in a matter of a couple of seconds and it takes you ten times as long to destroy it. <sighs> Not what I intended to do. Fence. Plank. Wooden fence. There we go. Stop trying to make the gate. One, two, three, four. This makes five. Okay. I think we still have, looks like we still have quite a bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we could actually come, oops, we just left, okay, so this tile is entered, this tile is leaving, so look at all that room. Where are you at? Oh, we 
have all this room that we could still set up as a much larger pasture. And we may at some point. But let's just worry about this one for now. So we want 10 going this way. will be the third one. So there's five, so if we follow this up, okay, so we want five more. Let's aim down so we can see. Sometimes a mouse movement can be really tricky. Lost count. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. Okay, we need one more. And I know some of you that are actually watching probably laughing your tail feathers off because <clears throat> duck rains can't count. At least not in this game. Then all we have to do is continue construction on each of these, get everything done, and we'll have a large pasture as well that we can put some horses and such in. And honestly, I mean, I don't really care too much because I don't plan on doing a whole lot of husbandry anyway. Um, but, you know, it opens up options. So then I can have dogs. I can have uh, cows and um, sheep and rams can have uh, more unicorns, I guess. Maybe I'll go tame a few spiders and have them hang out on the deed. 
black wolves, you know, just in case, uh, you know, Biddy wants to stop by and say hi. I don't want her to forget about her run yesterday. Got to have the spiders and the black wolves. And she probably cursing me out right now. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so glad she doesn't take me serious, though. I, uh, I have found that being lighthearted um, tends to ease the, the tension a lot now that I'm A little older, a little wiser uh, than I used to be. Oh, because I used to be an extremely serious individual, and yeah, that that didn't get me very far. Okay, so yes, each of these needs one shaft. I'll have to grab the planks, and I'll have to grab the nails. We're definitely need get going to need a lot more planks. So I'm going to have to chop down some more trees. Turn this way. This gets the shafts all dealt with. Ooh, actually, I'm hoping I have enough nails. I honestly don't know if I do or not. I think I do. If there isn't enough on the cart, I may have to go back down Um, to the bulk storage bin and see if I have more. If not, hmm, I may not be able to finish right now. See, I tend not to plan too far ahead. <laughs> I just kind of go by the seat of my pants. And today, I guess I decided to expand the pasture. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tear down the fencing on this one. That's gonna be, um, that's gonna remain the same. This is just gonna be uh, an extension. Of sorts. Will you cooperate? I don't know for certain, but I believe um, to the, the one roommate just left. She was headed to work, and I believe her husband is on his way home or will soon be on his way. So I'm going to apologize now because as soon as he gets here, the dogs will start acting up. And they'll be loud, and they'll be barky, and they'll, you know, be prancing around and jumping, and um, Mr. always sounds like he's screaming. 
Of course, he's not out here right now. He's probably in in the bedroom with his mom. He tends to hang out with my wife quite a bit. Usually he's hanging out with me when I'm home, but sometimes he just gets in the mood to be with mom, and that's all that they're you know that anyone's ever going to say about it. He doesn't want to hear anything to the contrary. I've got Peanut next to me. She is Mr. Sister and Littermate. They're both born from the same litter. And then uh, Little Dodger's our rescue. And he doesn't appear to be out here either, so he's probably with Mom. Okay, so we got all the shafts put in. Let's see how many nails and planks we have. We're going to need 30 nails. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm going to put these back in here for the moment. It's the wood scraps. We don't want those. Oh, we have 13. And we, we're short one plank. How much wood do we have left? Okay, we have enough logs to actually make that one plank. So let's move a log over. And we need the saw. Okay, saw can go back. Um, the scrap can go in there. And we'll take these planks. Wait a minute now. How did I end up with an extra plank? I had 29. I made one. Did I not make one? Yeah, I only made one. How did we end up with 31? I know there was only 29 there. Ah, <sighs> weird. Okay, small nails. Many as I can carry. And we're going to close the cart. We're going to come down here. Oh, you know what? We're going to need more than 30. Um, let's, uh, let's add this to the crafting window. Let's see. One, two, three. Maybe? Maybe it's just two. So I would need 60 planks I believe but still if I only had 29 and I made one that would make 30 unless my math teacher was wrong because I ended up with 31 somehow all right well we can close that and oops we need to equip the mallet there we go Actually, I guess we can just go ahead and keep the crafting window open for a minute. One plank is what's needed. Ah, I'm standing in the way. How am I standing in the way? Again. There. Good gravy. We 
should actually come down here so that way it doesn't scream at us. You're in the way. Move to the side. Okay. We'll come down here. Do the same thing with this one. Oh, we're out of food, we're out of water, and we're definitely out of stamina. Uh, it's going to be quicker to grab the cart. One of these days, I'm going to have to actually cook some food. Right now, we're just eating raw veggies, so... Well, <laughs> to be fair, we're not even eating veggies. We're just eating a raw pumpkin. That's the only nutrition this guy has gotten in a while. It's pumpkin. How am I too far away? Drink the water. I am not too far away. Thank you. Um, let's see. We'll hold up here for a second. So, uh, let's see. Carpentry. Will you stop? Hammer went to thir uh, 31 so far. Carpentry's at 44. Miscellaneous at 70. Knives went up to 17. So what went up in the miscellaneous? Probably the hammer. Rake, saw, and hammer. Yeah. Of course, I've got the most skill in the shovel. Go figure. I have no skill in sickle or scythe because I haven't created them. Uh, let's see. Open, open, open. Where are my pumpkins? All right, there's my pumpkins. Uh, these are the higher quality ones, so we're going to take two of those. And we're going to call the doctor in the morning. Because, honestly, if I ate two pumpkins by myself, I'd probably have a bit of a tummy ache. Not a huge fan of raw pumpkin, personally, but... We're not going to get through both of them. We just finished one, and we're almost full. Oh, just past the halfway point on the second one. Nope, point 0.4 left. So we ate 60% of that second pumpkin. We're going to dump it back in here. Close that, and we're going to go back to work. Oh, actually, since we're down here, let's double check this bulk storage bin. Should be this one right here. Um, by name. Small nails. So we do actually have enough. Open that. Open this. I think it's the third one down. 
Well, technically it's the third one down. Um, let's actually just pull all of them. They don't weigh that much. Yeah, you can keep the last one. Why not? We don't need the large nails. And we don't need the ribbon. There we go. Let's see. We got a ton of wood scrap. I don't think I can put it all in there. Oh, I guess so. All right, a thousand and eight wood scrap there from cedar wood and 149 walnut. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be worried about wood scrap for a little while. Um, these two logs. Oh, holy cow. Okay, well, um, we are going to need more planks. So let's do this. Let's grab the saw, put it over here. We're going to grab this log, put it there. Definitely need planks. Need to be on solid ground. Fine. Now create. See, certain things you can do from the cart, certain things you can't. Um... And it's a bit of a learning curve trying to remember everything that you can do versus everything you can't. Put those in there. Create. What? Yes, I know my inventory's full. Um, in here. Now... Will you create them? Of course not. Hmm. I suppose we can put the pickaxe back in there. We don't need the statue right now. Um, we can, well, I gotta keep that on me. We can put these nails down here just so that they're out of the way. Now, will you create more? Thank you. So we have 30, oh, I guess I need more logs, sorry. Take these wood scraps out. Hang on, I gotta clear out a few messages from my phone so that it stops going off. And yes, the roommate is almost home, so. That's all right. 
we now should have enough planks we know we have enough wood we're going to throw the scrap back in here and we're going to throw the wood or the logs back on there uh, close that window we're going to throw the saw back over here and we don't need the storage bin anymore okay let's embark on the cart We'll get these guys parked back up there. And then I think we're going to go ahead and call it for this video. We'll finish the fence up tomorrow um, for the pasture. And I am still going to stay far away from that up there. That is a Halloween event. Um, and at the moment, I... I don't want any part of it. That's aged champion pumpkin monster. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so um, actually let's go up a little further. We are going to go up by Old Biddy's Vegetable Garden. And we're going to use the overhang to look at what we have going on. Okay, so let's disembark so that these guys aren't in my way. Don't fall over the edge. Okay, there you go. So this is the original pasture for the old goat which only has a cow in it. Um, this is the extended pasture. So this is going to have probably... Well, more At some point, I'd like to have... Um, since I don't think there's actually goats in the game, um, sheep and rams in here. Um, and then have um, horses out in this section. And we'll probably end up doing another... Uh, large section to the end of the property over here wherever that is uh, for the horses but that may actually extend over and down as well hmm I just thought of something this one's gonna have to be destroyed because there's no fence or no uh, no gate that's going to have to be torn down to make a gate. And then they'll have to be right over here. So, but that is going to be it. Hey, enough. That's going to be it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to check out Old Bitty Gaming. I'll leave a link in the... I'll leave a link in the end card uh, to reach her channel. Um, so thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.